Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome to a Tuesday video. Yes, Tuesday video because I missed Monday again. But it's okay considering what we're doing this week. Because this week I want to open up another booster box. A Roaring Sky... A Roaring Skies booster box. I got another one of these. Why? Well, one, because it was relatively cheap. And two, it's because I haven't opened up a booster box in quite some time. Thing is, with the, I opened the Steam Siege and the Fates Collide booster boxes and I kind of uh, regretted opening those... Uh, how, how would I put it? Too early. Because ever since, whenever I find Fates Collide or Steam Siege in a collection box or something, then they're less fun. Because the chances of pulling something new from them are quite low. So it's not that I don't want to open the booster boxes, I just don't want to open them too early. And I want to see if I can get some of the last few cards I need before I resort to buying the, the remaining cards that I need. Because I calculated right now, if I were to buy all the cards that I still need, that would roughly be around the same same price as a booster box so i think there's there are still just enough cards uh, in this set that i don't have yet uh, to, to justify another box but then after that that will be pretty much it for roaring skies so yeah we're doing that this week and yes we are doing it in several parts and that is not to annoy you guys or to get more views or whatever i know there are channels that open an entire box in a single video but i just don't have the budget for that a box like this is expensive and i want to take my time enjoying it so so I'm not gonna open all of it in a single day. So yeah, that, that is really the only reason. Because I really don't care about getting more views or, or whatever other reasons you might have. I, I don't make any money of the channel. I don't run ads or anything. So it really makes no difference for me. Now of course 36 packs. That means 36 codes to give away. A lot of codes, a lot of winners. First though we have the winners from the Zygarde video. We also had the Ultra Prism video on uh, Saturday. But I figure we'll do those tomorrow. I don't want to stretch the video too long with the giveaway stuff. So we'll pick those tomorrow. Today the winners for the Zygarde giveaway. And we actually have five winners. Even though I had four, th four codes. Thing is I, I picked all four renders at random and only one of them wanted to win the one of the Zygarde promos so I rolled again for a fifth winner and I can throw in an extra Guardians Rising code so we have five winners I keep a few codes on hand for situations like that quite a few new names in this one quite a lot of uh, comments in the first place really I had 14 entries in total which might be the most entries I ever had on a video and so for the winners for the Zygarde code we have Eric Lundgaard and Alfred Screep you guys win a code to redeem this Zygarde promo in the online TCG. And for the winners of the codes, we had Steve Co 835 King Legend, and Carlos Potocarrero. So you guys all win a code and as usual should have received a message from me that by the time you see this video. Again, we'll announce the winners for the Ultra Prism codes tomorrow. As for the codes from this video, we're, we're gonna do it in four parts, so nine packs per video. We're gonna do the same thing as I did with the other booster boxes. I'm gonna ask you guys to let me know what your favorite pool is from this video in the comments below for a chance of winning one of the codes. Now, I don't know how many people will enter for this one. It's Roaring Skies, it's not in standard anymore, so maybe uh, we don't get as much comments. So maybe the comments will be low, then everyone pretty much wins. But if I do get a lot of comments of people who wanna win, if we go over nine, then I'm just gonna pick the winners at random. So you can comment on every part and there's a really good chance you can win on every part, I think. So yeah, again, let me know what your favorite pool is from this video for a good chance to win one of the Roaring Skies codes. So let's start by ripping off the plastic of this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna need scissors for this one. There we go. Let's uh, open that up properly. Here we go. Ooh, I like that the Megalodios and Megalodios sort of line up together. As for the cards that I still need from this thing, I actually haven't bothered to bring a list this time. That's the, the Roaring Skies checklist. I checked off all the cards that I have. Now you'd think Roaring Skies uh, Shame in Full Art is the card to go for, but surprisingly I found that that is no longer the most expensive card from the Roaring Skies set. Probably because it's out of standard now, so people don't want it anymore. But I was surprised to find that actually the most expensive card for this set right now is the Mega Rayquaza Dragon type. There's two uh, Rayquazas and Mega Rayquazas in the set. But yeah, this one, the Dragon type, which I don't have yet, is now the most expensive card. So that's really the card we're hunting for. Of course, still on a pretty good push spot with second place, we have that Shame in the X full art, which uh, is down here, which we, I don't have either. So that's still the full art we want to hunt for, because even if it's out of standard, it still has quite some value. 
On third place, it's actually a secret rare, which is on, on this list. There are two secret rares in this set. I do hope to pull at least one of them. And if we are gonna pull one, I'm hoping for the Versus Seeker secret rare, because that is the third most expensive card still from the set. And lastly, on a fun note, the fourth most expensive one is the Mega Rayquaza EX Full Art, which I have two of already. So even though I already have it, I don't mind pulling more of those. And on fifth place, we have not entirely surprising the regular Shaman EX, which still also has value because you can use it and expand it still. And it's still a really good card there, but also a card I already have. So really what we're hunting for is that Mega Rayquaza Dragon type, the Shaman Full Art and the First the Seeker Secret Rare. Those are the big pools. And among the smaller pools, uh, I still need a lot of the Reverse Hollows, so we can check if those are new. We need a bunch of the other EXs and stuff as well, as well as two hollows. We need, uh, where are they? We need the Reshiram hollow as well as the Jirachi hollow. Neither of those I have yet. And technically the Beautifly hollow also counts because I only have a reverse hollow of that. So I think I mentioned pretty much all the, all the things we are hunting for here. Let's uh, take out the packs and see if we can divide them up by nine based on their pack art. I usually like to do that and see who the winner is. So I'll be right back after I do that. A few moments later. Okay, so we did get a nice spread of all the pack arts. Nine of each, that's always nice. If I recall correctly, last time we started with Deoxys and we got absolutely nothing from him. So I think we're gonna give him another chance today. Then in the second part, we went with Mega Larios or Larias. I think it's Larios, this one. Not entirely sure, but we got pretty much all our pulls from that. <laughs> so we're gonna save this one for last this time. Also, I did not do that right. There we go. That's how the display thing should be. Uh, so we're putting all these other guys away. Next time. But yeah, we're going with Deoxys for a chance to redeem himself this time. We did get pretty lucky the last time, just not with the Deoxys. We got the Gallade that's still up there, the Full Art, and the Latios up there. Yeah, we got quite a few good pulls from that. We also have Articuno up there, by the way, to go with the Zapdos now. It gave him a nice spot. Removed the, the Alolan Raichu GX, so there are no more GXs on the board for now. I just, I just don't like the design of the Full Art GXs, really. They're not bad, but the EX cards just look so much better with a bit of a nice with a nicer background going on and stuff. But I digress, we're here for Roaring Skies today and we're not gonna spend too much time with the commons and uncommons because, uh, well, I have all of those already. Maybe not in reverse hollow, but for the regular ones, there's not much to go for. German. First pack of the day, or of the week really, of the box. And some damage on these cards, by the way, at the top. They all have some uh, scrapes on there. That's unfortunate. So, starting with the first pack, can we get a Steven? Glade Spirit Link, White Lens, Talo, Execute, Holucha, Pikachu, Natu, I expect to see many of those because there's two kinds of Natu. I think there's two kinds of Bagon as well. We have the Reverse Hollow a Deoxys. Quickly gonna check because I don't think I have that yet. No, the first Reverse Hollow is a new pool. So that's a nice start. And the last card is a Swallow. And the second pack. Come on. Oh yeah, oh, no damage at the top this time. That's a good start. So it was one pack, I guess. So we have a Shell Gun, Revive, Pelipper, Binacle, Gligar, Shuppet, Togepi, Ninkeda. The reverse hollow is a Halucha, which I think I already have. No, Halucha Reverse Hollow is new as well, but uh, I'm gonna stop looking them all up because it's taking too much time. I'll look them up between videos and I'll tell you next time which of the Reverse Hollows were new. And oh, we got something here. We got a Gallade EX. 
And that is a new EX as well. Well, I had the full art, it's up the, to the right there, but the, the regular one I didn't have yet. So this is a new EX pool. Oh, we're starting off strong today. Let's give you a sleeve as the first big pool from the week or from the box. So the second pack. And again, this one's weird. Like I noticed it with the other ones as well. If uh, you look at the top thing, you'll see the line of the next pack on top of it. They cut it uh, too high. Although it seems fine at the bottom. Strange. Do they all have that? We'll check. So the third pack. We're doing pretty well so far. Two new reverse hollows and a new EX card, so that's good. We have a Firo, Unfacent, Electrode, Bagon, Execute, Fletchling. Pikachu, bit of. Reverse Hollow is a Pelipper. And I'm not gonna check if it's new. We'll do that next video. And the last card is a Skarmory. And so, yeah, the next pack, look, there's the little line going atop it. I I think that's where they, they are supposed to cut it. Weird. Wow, this one does not want to come out. Come on. <laughs> there we go. So here we go, we have a Manectric. Oh, Double Dragon Energy, always nice to see that. We have a Tropius, another Natu, Ninkeda, Gligar. Volter, Inke, Reverse Hollow is a Fero, and the last card is a Banat. The pack number five. Let's see here. So we're starting off with another Tranquil, Wally. Would be nice if we pulled the full art from that. I don't think the full art Wally from this set is that nice. It, I don't know, it looks a bit plain to me. But I don't have it yet, so we are hoping to pull one. We have a Silcoon, Pikachu, Bagon, Wingle, Swablu, Shuppet. The reverse holo is a Gligar, and the last card is, ooh, the Mega Latios EX. Which is a card I unfortunately already have, but that's not too surprising that we pull some duplicate EXs. What is surprising is that we already pulled two GXs and we're at the first five packs. So it's still a strong start today, unlike last time. Which means part of me wants to pull a lot more, because, you know, more pulls the better. And another part of me is like, don't pull too much now, because we have uh, three more parts to get through. And those would be kind of boring if we don't have to have anything to look forward to anymore. But yeah, I of course hope for an above average box, so more the more pulls the better, to be honest. We have a Dragonair, Glade Spirit Link, Shellgun, Taylo, Bagon, Pit of, Swablu, Wurmpool, Reverse Hollow is an Ulteria, and the last card is a Swallow. It's the second one already. Pack number uh, seven, I wanna say. Oh, oops, sorry camera. Uh, yeah, seven. We have two more after this. So here we go. We have a Dust Ox, White Lands, Togetic, Gligar, Shepherd, Meowth. Cascoon, Halucha, Reverse Hollow is a Tropius, and the last card is. Ooh! 
Another Gallade in the full art this time. Already have it, it's on the background because it is a beautiful card. Hey, let's give you a sleep. Oh, we, well, I think we're getting all our good pulls in the first part. Again, I think that happened with Steam Siege as well. So, unfortunately, not one of the full arts I was hoping for, but uh, still a beautiful card. Just look at that. And it used to be a pretty good card as well with that piercing crisis attack. But yeah, what a gorgeous card, right? So, pack number eight. Two more packs to go. Again, I spotted at least one card with a bit of damage at the top. Not sure why that's so prevalent in this box. So we have an Executor, Unfazant, Manectric, Fletchling, Execute, Talo, Electric, another Bagon, Reverse Hollow is a Spiro, I definitely have that. And the last card is an Articuno. It's just rare, but I do like this picture. It's quite beautiful. In the last pack of the day, uh, we can definitely say that Deoxys did a lot better this time. With three major pulls, I, I think that is a tough one to beat for the other parts. And it has one more chance to give us something here. So let's see what happens. For the last pack of the day, we get uh, a Gliscor, Glade Spirit Link, Electrode, Wormpool, Bagon, Pinnacle, Gligar, Meowth, Reverse Hollow is a Dustox, and the last card of the day is a Banat. Well, a nice large art to end with. I don't think I've seen a large art yet. So yeah, that's it for the first part of this uh, Roaring Skies uh, booster box. A really strong start. At least two new reverse hollows. I have to check for the other reverse hollows if to see if there's any other new ones. And three EX pools, one of them even a full art. I hope we didn't waste all of our luck in the first part here. But yeah, some nice stuff, especially the new Glade EX. I'm very happy to get that. And yeah, don't forget, let me know what your favorite pool was this video in the comments below for a chance to win one of the codes. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next part, which should be tomorrow. I I'm not sure if we're going to do this four days in a row. I might skip Friday because I'm kind of busy on that day. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click up here to watch another one. And if you just want to watch me play some video games, you can click down here to go to my gaming channel. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.